Scott Manley here, back with Taking on Mars. Now, on Friday, they released an update which added a whole bunch of things, uh, including the, the Gravon uh, arcade video game thingy. They added a new site, and they added manual landing, which is slightly bugged, but I'm going to show you how it, to do it. First of all, um, once you turn it on, I've been unable to turn it off, but that's okay. We are used to bugs if we are players of Kerbal Space Program. Um, the way you control it is using the W, A, S, and D keys and shift to thrust vertically. Uh, unfortunately, my spacecraft seemed to keep on wanting to pitch forwards and it didn't survive the first attempt particularly well. So, good thing I loaded, I saved this. Now, if you want to try this out, there's no like scenario that lets you do this. The best thing is to actually create like a new profile, start a new career mode, and then just use the first mission in that. And then you can just keep on crashing rovers without worrying about screwing up your existing, existing space program. Um, except for the fact that you can't actually turn off the, the manual landings for now. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to do that from within a config file, but uh, I'll figure that out. It's not a problem. So here we go. Let's try again. And of course, let the thing load. Bring us to Mars. You start out in internal view. Switch to the external, roll the mouse wheel, and switch over. Now, I figured out that the reason I have excess rotation is because my joystick is doing it, except the joystick axis appear to be inverted, so I'm flying this backwards. The roll, uh, the roll is as... Ah, no, 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 it's so sensitive. Uh, if I want, if I start pitching forwards, I have to push forwards, which is very odd. Okay, so my vertical axis is inverted, but I'm coming down. I've got some level of control. Oh, I thought I had some control. No! 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 Oh, crap. Okay, well, that's another billion dollar space probe smashed into the surface of the planet in the name of science. Let's, uh, oh look, there is an invert axis option. Uh, we have a uh, horizontal, oh that's mouse resolution. That's not what I need to mess around with. Joypad, um, I'm guessing joypad isn't what I'm using because I got a joystick. My Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, which uh, apparently has uh, some sort of dead spot problem right now. Uh, I'll need to mess around with that load game. Let's try it once more to see if I can perhaps put this thing down safely. Uh, the Kerbals would not tolerate this level of failure, would they? They would get Jebediah right on the job. Of course, they would be using a manned probe, wouldn't they? Okay, once again, back to the control room, because that's where I saved things. And launch the vehicle. We don't need to read any of that description at this time. We just need to get down onto the surface. Okay, loading, 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 and let's save the game this time when we're actually in here so we don't need to go back to the control room. Set, uh, try to invert the vertical axis and see if that actually helps. Um, let's invert vertic aircraft vertical control. Hmm. Is that what they mean? Eh, who cares? I'll try flying it again. C, external view, okay, and hold shift to thrust against the, the inexorable gravity of the planet Mars. And this does actually appear to be working. So yeah, hold shift. You can control this with WASD apparently. Uh, I just happened to have the joystick plugged in and it was messing with my controls. So I thought, why not give the joystick a try? And this actually seems to be working. Uh, the controls aren't in fact inverted. Um, I have no idea what I, why that isn't the case, but it's still kind of confusing, so my muscle memory is going backwards on me. If I start to pitch too far, my brain is telling- Ah, oh, you see, my brain is trying to bring in my experience, do stuff here. Uh, three meters per second. Look, I'm somewhat in control at this point, but I'm 150, whoa, 150 meters away from the target. 150 meters, will I get down? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no, no! Ow! Crap! No, no! Oh! Well, look, I broke off four of the landing legs. We still have a camera, I think. Now, uh, how do we stop this? Oh, I like the physics on that thing just bumping around there next to me. Obviously, low Martian gravity doesn't work particularly well. Um, right, so how do I stop the engines? Do I have to just wait for this to run out of fuel? Clicking these doesn't seem to work. 
Um, mission log. Mission. 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 Nope. Photo rim. Uh, I don't think I can photograph the rim with my non-existent descent camera. Um, obviously, this that uh, camera view that you have during the landing is supposed to be a descent camera, but since I don't have a descent camera on this... Ah, there we go! Oh, wait, so it's come back now. Okay, let's try taking some pictures. So what do I have? I have the wide-angle camera. Excellent! Oh, I can actually do the missions! Take some photographs of the crater rim here. Maybe we can uh, do some actual science with this space probe that has crashed and has... At least the science platform still wants to rotate, and I guess the batteries were safely tucked inside the interior of my spacecraft. Uh, something odd here that the S key isn't moving down either. <laughs> okay, um, mission. What do we have? Vehicle log. Everything broken. Yes. Part failure. Everything. EAS. Bye, telly. And there's a few ones. Um, I've got to get three of them in the frame, but it doesn't seem to want to work. So it looks like I may not be able to get all the photographs I need. That's a problem. So what happens when you land 150 meters off target and badly? Uh, it would be nice if there was a way to take, you know, each of those individual photos, but I guess um, it is not going to be. The engines, of course, appear to still be running. And dun, 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 dun. Oh, I mean, okay, it, it looks a little buggy, but there's a lot of other new features in this. I just really wanted to show how difficult landing is so that nobody actually tries doing it just yet. Uh, <laughs> yes, it appears that because I landed so far off center that there are a number of targets that I cannot get in frame. Look at that. Hey, the first ambassador to another world from my space program, eh? Let's try that again. Okay, the Victoria Crater. Continue! Okay, joystick, super sensitive. Uh, should probably try and adjust that. Press any key to continue. Get myself external. That's it. First, I mean, I very quickly got to do this. Okay, so once again, pitching forwards, and yeah, the, so the joystick axis still inverted. Nothing appears, no, there appears to be nothing I can do about this. Uh, although the roll is not inverted, I'm just, per I'm just retarded, really, when I'm doing the roll failures. It's just entirely my inability to control this spacecraft. Okay, but we got it under control, got our velocity decreasing. Oh, no, 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 no! No, no, no. Um, this is what goes through the mind of a Mars probe as it's coming down. I, I just... Oh, here we go. Ah, no! I just imagine that if there was a computer in the sky crane that was thinking, you know, on, on, on a curiosity, I just imagine the sky crane computer going, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is a Rube Goldberg contraption. This is not going to work. 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 Oh my god, it worked. Way! That's what went through the mind of curiosity during those seven minutes of terror. Yeah, uh, let's try inverting again. Oh, the, wait, invert vertical axis. Maybe that's what I was looking for. Let's try that. Do I want to apply changes? Hell yes, I want to see if that will make me land any better. Okay, fourth time lucky. Hold shift and controls are still not inverted. Um, I'm sure this will be something that will be fixed, but, uh, you know, I fully expect the developers will, will address all these issues. I, I just, uh, this is the perils of a beta product. There's a lot of, there are so many bonuses, so many extra things in this update. It's hard to, it's hard to get mad at this. <laughs> I will figure out how to modify my configs so I can put my stuff back into manual mode. But look! Oh my god, we're actually flying this thing again. Oh, yeah, let's... Yes, I'm meaning to do that. I want to get back closer to the center of the crater. Uh, obviously, I presume in the finished version we will have more instrumentation. Look, there's the fragments of my heat shield. So I'm just kind of cruising down the bottom of this crater here. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no! Yeah, back, 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 back! Hey! Excellent touchdown! Nothing broken. And we are only 40 meters from the target, so perhaps we can actually get some images as soon as I figure out how to get out of landing mode once again. Um, how did I do it last time? I don't know, I was pushing buttons randomly. 
Um, was it the push button? Nope, not that. Not that. And that doesn't give me anything. Um, pardon me while I try to figure this out. Uh, these don't seem to work. I'm still sitting here with the engine running. I wonder if I hold shift whether I'll actually lift up. Maybe I could try flying it over to the target there. No, let's take a look. Log, nav, mission, start, mission tasks, take images. No, I can't do that until I get into mission mode. Disconnect. I can disconnect and reconnect. That might work. Um, and my fuel doesn't appear to be running out either. I just appear to have the thrusters idling here. Um, I'll take a look at the options. Bunch of stuff. Bunch of there's no no buttons here to end end landing sequence. Uh, return to game. Oh oh okay. So pausing and unpausing. Hey okay. So bring me a uh, by tele when by wide uh, by white. Yes, wide angle. See, that was the other problem, is that I destroyed my wide angle lens during my previous landing, therefore I couldn't take these images. There, snap some photos of that rather photogenic crater rim. Uh, it would be packed with science. Uh, the Yeah, definitely seemed to be a little problem with the S key. Yeah, I'm serious, like, I'm not mad. There are, there are, t there are bugs and I, I'm you know, working around them. I've played Kerbal for so long, I've encountered so many bugs, they, we call them features. Not a problem, they will be fixed. And let's take some pictures here. Excellent! More pictures. And more pictures. Uh, more pictures. Doing science for the space program. So there you go. I've, I've landed this manually, using the joystick and the shift key. Um, if you want to do this and take on Mars, I would suggest not doing it until we figure out why the or how to get it out of manual landing mode because I haven't figured that one out. So I'm probably not going to be doing much more except driving my rovers around until I figure out until I get good at manually landing. Oh, I, I, mean, I guess I have save options, right? I can just save files. Well. Having crashed it several times, I think it's time for me to say, I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.